Hey. Hello, folks. Welcome to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey on this beautiful Wednesday morning. My guest today is Katie White. She is an avuncular person, a rock on tour, a uh, uh, wow. affable uh, human <laughs> being, a teacher, a tour guide. You, uh, you can uh, uh, jack of all trades, jack master of, of all none. trades. Today, however, she's a chef, and uh, we are going to. Uh, by golly, we're going to make some uh, some outstanding cocktail sauce, right? Shrimp well, cocktail sauce, what are we doing? We're doing a Mexican shrimp cocktail. And last time I was here, uh, we were talking about my foodie uh, hobby. Right. And last fall, you may or may not know this, but Frontier Community College had me as an adjunct instructor okay. for a community course called you know, Latin American Cooking. You realize we haven't started the show yet. I mean, oh. basically, we, we are starting the show, but but we're still in the introductory part of the show. Okay. Am I messing up already? No, no, oh. no. no. <laughs> we'll get into all this in just a minute. How's okay. that sound? That, Perfect. That sounds weird. Well, Perfect. That, but, uh, Gosh, we'll get, now I'm nervous. We'll dive very deeply into all that. Mm. But she is here, and uh, we are here. going uh, just uh, basically just tell me what do you think we're going to cook? We're going to do a Mexican shrimp cocktail. A Mexican shrimp cocktail. Is it's it, famous. Is it going to be like uh, St. Elmo's style shrimp? Co- I don't know what theirs oh, is I'll like. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What well, maybe we can compare notes then. There you go. There you we go. We could, but mine is very simple, and I'll make sure that I get you you a copy to post a link for that your sounds viewers. Great. I look forward to doing yeah, that. Uh, because you are the folks you are watching Big Talk <laughs> with Bruce Dick. I gotta that's the cool thing about when you're here, Katie. I have to interrupt you and shut you up. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> it's like I'm a teacher or something. Yeah. And I'm used to having the the throne and the stage like all to myself. To, like you're used to giving uh, 45 to 50 minute long lectures. Oh no, I can't do that. That's you don't do too that? long. No. How long are your classes? Well, they're about 48 minutes, but they're, they tune out after about five minutes, so you have to switch your activities or you've lost them. Okay. Well, their their eyes glaze that. over. Do they? You can tell. Yes. Well, yes. that's what we're, we're going to avoid that at home. And uh, well, we do appreciate we you can tuning in. Get you to attend and focus. <laughs> that's exactly right. Let me tell you, folks, what is going on today. See, now you're off TV, so uh, you go ahead and mind your business. She was, all, she was actually busy uh, doing all kinds of prep work, so uh, we'll to continue with the prep work over on that side you might hear some of that uh, in the uh, in the camera but don't worry about it uh this is wednesday march 25th and if you are seeing this at a later time say on a repeat uh this is a, we are we remain and i'm, and I'm doing this for the sake of folks who were kind of confused had, had a, a note from somebody who might have been a little confused that thought the uh, the uh, the quarantine was over and out no we we are still in the at this time. This is uh, being recorded on March 24th for airing on the 25th. We are still in quarantine and uh, we are practicing social distancing and uh, we're doing everything right. So don't be confused if you are watching this uh, at a, a later date. Uh, some things that were supposed to go on today that you might have been looking forward to didn't realize might have been canceled. A few things like that that have been canceled and a couple things that are still on. Uh, the Flora Unit uh, Preschool to Birth birth to Three screenings, preschool and birth to three screenings scheduled for today through Thursday at the First Christian Church here in Flora. Those are canceled until a later date. Same story, the uh, Unit 35 at Kindergarten pre-registration. Those were scheduled for today as well, and uh, they have also been uh, canceled or postponed uh, to a later date. This is kind of an interesting one that would have been really good to happen, the SMP Shred event and Census 2020. They were going to do this at Heritage Woods, and now granted, you got your census, you hopefully received your census envelope in the mail. You can go ahead and uh, fill out your census online. It's the easy easiest thing to do. I did it myself over the weekend. I have now been counted uh, and I suggest and urge all of you folks out there to uh, make sure that you get 
yourself counted for the census. But the Midland Area Agency on Aging was planning to host a shred event as well as a senior or a census sign up today at Heritage Woods at one to four. That has been canceled. I'm sure that they will try to uh, do that again at a later time. Piano with Mary also at the uh, at the floor rehabilitation and healthcare center today has been canceled. She was bringing wine and cheese. I can't believe what a loss. Uh, the uh, piano with Mary at two o'clock today canceled. Can you believe that, Katie? Man, that would be the only reason I'd take piano. There you go. Katie is, uh, she's still busy tearing tearing stuff down and putting stuff together. Uh, go ahead, bounce stuff all over. Stuff. We're, it's, we're on TV. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's okay. I have a face for no, you're doing great. Uh, Marty Williamson Country Music was going to be at Heritage Woods today during that census event. So that would have been pretty cool. Again, that's canceled. However, and there's always a however, today there is uh, an American Red Cross blood drive over in Clay City. This is still on. Uh, the need for blood donation uh, just continues to rise because there are, well, there are more people in the hospitals. There are fewer folks able to make blood donations. So uh, if you were planning to donate blood today, by all means, go ahead. And the Clay City Christian Church is hosting that at 1.30 today. And as a matter of fact, it's a very simple, very easy thing. What they're doing is they bring you in, and before you even walk in to uh, to uh, talk to the uh, oh to talk to the people at the front desk. They have you sit down, and they've got a lady up there taking your temperature. So uh, it, so they take your temperature to make sure you're healthy, and uh, that's what they did for me the other day. So it's uh, they make sure that you hopefully do not have the coronavirus. So they're, they're, they're trying, to, trying to weed folks out, that's for sure. Uh, open mic night canceled tonight up at uh, Village Wine and Gifts as well. Speaking of uh, food and uh, good stuff today, this is National Lobster Newburgh Day, debuting in 1876 at Delmonico's, the uh, New York restaurant. I don't think Del Delmonico's are they still uh, are they still in, uh, involved and around? Do you know? I think so. I think they're still a thing. This dish was invented by Sea Captain Ben Winberg. The dish grew. Quickly in popularity, there was an argument between Winberg and Delmonica, which caused it to be removed from the menu, but after many requests from patrons, it was returned with a new name. The entree soon became known as Lobster Newberg, Newberg as opposed to Winberg. I did not realize that. They just turned the win around to a Newberg. Uh, of course, uh, Lobster new Newberg is a, a mixture of, I got another picture of uh, some Lobster Newberg. Newberger. What do you think of that one, Katie? Delicious. Look at that love thing. It. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I yeah. love seafood. Yeah, love that'll it. work. Uh, that's uh, outstanding. Uh, this is also a National Medal of Honor Day. National Medal of Honor Day today recognizes all Medal of Honor recipients on March 25th. This day in 1863, Edwin Stanton, the Secretary of War, presented the first Medals of Honor to, uh, these were the Army Medals of Honor, to six members of Andrews Raiders for their volunteering and participation during a Civil War raid in April of 1862. Of course, this uh, date... Uh, then uh, celebrates uh, that date 100 and what is that 107 147 years 157 years ago good grief i'm old i can't do math 157 years ago did you realize that there are three different national medals of honor there are the uh, you there have the uh, the navy one i don't know which one's which plus the air force one i think that one on the right there the one that says Valor on it is the original one for the uh, Army, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the uh, so and if you're in a if you're a Marine and you get a National Medal or a Medal of Honor, they give you the Navy one. Same thing for Coast Guard. So uh, there you have that. Also, this is Manatee Appreciation Day, Ooh, the last Wednesday in March. What? 
Jimmy Buffett would love this. There you go. Jimmy Buffett would be a big fan of Manatee Appreciation Day. These uh, species of manatees inhabit uh, rivers as well as canals, saltwater, saltwater bays, estuaries, and coastal areas around the world. The Amazonian, West Indian, and American manatees all have differing lifespans with the American manatee living the longest up to... 60 years. How about that? Okay. These gentle giants spend most of their time uh, eating and sleeping and traveling. So, uh, you know, that's the thing, uh, Katie. That's what I would like to be doing. I I would love to be Spending doing that. Spending most of my time <laughs> eating, sleeping, and traveling. I think that's the perfect life. That would be the perfect storm <laughs> it really, for a perfect life. It really is. We'll get to traveling real soon. playing that lottery, Bruce. That's exactly right. We're going to be traveling real soon again. Uh, you are watching Big Talk with Bruce Diggy. What's on television? We're going to continue that. Those local sports repeats that we've been talking about that we've been doing over the past several uh, days. And uh, we'll continue with those repeats here on uh, after this show. And uh, the, you'll see it stay here on Channel 100. That's Katie White. I'm Bruce Dickey. We are social distancing. Very much so. I'm and uh, we over are. Here to that's my exactly area. right. And we are going to be uh, cooking today. These things probably folks have mostly already have in their fridges, don't they? They're easily obtainable ingredients. They Can't don't wait. take anything super, super expensive or difficult. Can't wait. Going to be shrimp cocktail time. We'll be right back after this word on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Stick around. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details.
Okay. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Look who's here. It's Katie White. Hi, Bruce. I've, I've got you down on screen there as okay. a chef and tour guide. Awesome. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Will Since that I'm doing a foodie thing today, I'm going to take you on a little tour of some Veracruz style shrimp cocktail. Really? But the first time I really had this was in McAllen, Texas. All right, hold on. We'll get we'll get to the, uh, the so, shrimp cocktail. Okay. Inside. How how you have you have been to how many countries across the world? Do you think? Uh, ten. Ten. All right. Ten. ten. Not that many. And so, but you have enjoyed different kinds of shrimp cocktail yes. all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. And hopefully, I can get to more countries. Oh, uh, God willing, in the creek don't soon. rise. Yeah, there we go. Soon. Absolutely. Soon. I'm sure we'll be able to go soon. Now, for those of us who have, I, I've been to that, uh, that several countries too, but I've never really been a, a shrimp cocktail aficionado oh. in several different countries. Well, your how wife many, is. How, I am looking at what well, yeah, Tony you know is. How, how, how many different shrimp cocktails have you come into contact with? Oh, just a few. I mean, there's there's a lot of variations, and I think anyone who makes it um, will put their own spin on it. Some people like more horseradish. Some people don't like any horseradish. Today, I'm using cilantro. There are people that absolutely despise cilantro because really? to them, it tastes like soap. It's something, it's it's really quite common. So, uh, That's interesting. But I love it. I, I think you can't get enough cilantro. That's I love interesting the flavor because of cilantro. That, that's interesting to me because whenever I taste, uh, for instance, uh, uh, you know, you'll you'll have different styles of beer. You have oh the, yeah, the new bell, the new Belgium. Uh, what's the uh, oh that they put the orange? Oh, the like, blue moon. The blue moon. That's one of my all time favorites. It's a Everybody very pale ale. Everybody loves blue Love moon. It. Everybody by the fishbowl. Yeah, by the fishbowl. <laughs> you put that. You put that dog on uh, thing orange in it. in it. It's the only way to serve it. I taste copper. You taste copper. I taste copper when it's like it's interesting. It tastes metallic. I, have, to it, it, you. I taste metallic. That's basically why copper. I don't. I don't drink wheat beers. Really? Because they taste metallic. If I, if I had no idea. You have to have. The, you'll, you'll very seldom see me drinking a wheat beer, uh, and, and I will occasionally drink beer, but uh, you'll very seldom yeah. see me drinking right. a wheat beer uh, because. It, it isn't just Blue Moon. It transfers from one place to another. Really? And is it just with the Belgian ales or any particular... It's a wheat. It's a wheat thing. Yeah. It's a wheat thing. It's a wheat thing. Yeah. I know uh, what your favorite one is. I don't know if we're allowed to say the name of it. but Budweiser. Budweiser. Okay. <laughs> Ice cold Budweiser. Uh, Tall fine. boys. Yeah, they don't mind. This, this, they I'm don't just mind. Glad it it's I'm a plug. Just glad it's barley a plug. Barley doesn't uh, affect me. Like, right. See, you're if, lucky. If, if barley, yeah. yeah. If I, what do you think of Guinness? I like a good black and tan myself. I like a good Guinness. It's, yeah. But Guinness just, isn't wheat. But Guinness isn't wheat again. It's so. a, it, interesting. Uh, truly, uh, well, uh, Guinness a little bit. But anyway, we're, we're, we're talking about... About shrimp. Interesting. What's your favorite shrimp? Um, do you cooked, like the Gulf shrimp? Cooked. Do you like the <laughs> Gulf? Gulf, definitely. Are for the, for me, the Gulf shrimp is excellent. Do you want um, to do the forced gum bit here? You're shrimp, do oh boy. <laughs> it is actually pretty versatile, but I really love those jumbo shrimp from the Gulf. I just think the salt water, it just tastes like the sea. There's no fishy smell. I just think they're they're outstanding to you me, travel, the Gulf shrimp. You travel all over the place, so both in this hemisphere and in Europe. Uh, do you uh, do you see culturally different tastes in different Latin American countries or different Spanish speaking countries? For oh, them? most definitely. Um, I don't know if you want to segue into this or not, but I was able to um, teach for Frontier Community College last uh, you fall. You said you were an adjunct, yeah. As an adjunct um, community instructor. Okay. I mean, I'm not an expert, I'm not a chef. I'm. I've taken a lot of cooking classes. Um, my mom's been my best cooking teacher. Hi, mom. She's down in Mississippi. Uh, but I was fortunate enough to be able to teach a, a class, and it was a very small class. But it was Latin American and Spanish cooking okay. cuisine. And I started, actually, with Spain because a lot of the same ingredients, you'll see an overlap okay. from it's, it's historical, really. They brought their ingredients, the olive plants, the olive trees. Um, so a lot of the same dishes in Latin America will have your olive oil, your onions, your garlic. Um, the Moors actually were very fond of garlic. Oh, really? Yeah, Andalusian cooking in the south of Spain is very well known for just the amount of copious 
copious amounts of garlic. Really? And um, it's very healthful, of course, but well, you sure. can't you can't really cook any Latin dish without it. I mean, I don't care if it's in the Caribbean. I covered the Caribbean. I started with Spain, went to the Caribbean mm. with Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and then to Mexico. Okay. All right. Now, so in South America. Uh, all right. Now, so you've 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 been around basically. You've, you've seen cooking and eaten uh, eaten food all over the world. Right. To, I'm, I'm explaining that now to get to what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, and uh, what kind of time frame do you think this takes? Uh, you're going to make this shrimp cocktail. What kind of time frame do you need? It's it's a very small time frame, but it depends on your chopping skills. So really? I brought some of the ingredients. Um, prepared already chopped okay but i also brought some that were not prepared because i thought maybe your viewers might be interested in some knife tricks that's outstanding to uh maybe enhance their ability to chop quicker real quickly take a look to your left and that'll kind of give you an idea of what your shot's going to be Okay. Uh, okay. okay. So you could see. So I so can. You, you can kind of get an idea there of uh, of what you're what you're dealing with on screen. You okay? okay. Is that deal? Is um, that going to work for you? I can I think only see I'll, the side of my head. Well, no, you're not going to have your head turned. <laughs> you're going to be facing the camera. But I'm okay. just telling you. That, okay, that's that, That's fine. what we were going to work out if we'd been here quarter till t- quarter sorry, till eleven. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I didn't know we were. So tight on the time frame, but that's okay. I tell you what, let's do. Let's take a quick break, and I'll, and I'll explain how I think this is going to work best. Okay, okay, Bruce, that'll work. That'll work. Sorry about that. No, don't say you're sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a travel agent for guilt trips. People don't believe him. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Stick around. In 1949. Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown, and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at D at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details.
Hello, folks. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Katie White is here. Katie is a chef. She makes uh, all kinds of stuff. A uh, baker. A uh, You'll make an outstanding... Uh, outstanding uh, Bread pudding. Uh, bread pudding. I'm well known for I was bread try, pudding. I was trying to say enchiladas. You enchiladas make, uh, as well. Uh, yes. Outstanding enchiladas. Some. But today, basically, I am donating, uh, not donating, she's donating her time and efforts to me, but I am giving her the show because she is going to teach folks how to uh, cut and, and make a, a handy, easy shrimp cocktail that you may have this stuff all at home. This is this is going to be a, a crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. Um, I make it for Marty Paws, and oh, really? it's it's highly anticipated and requested. Okay. And I've been asked to sell it by the court. Sometimes I sell folks food that they're hungry, desperate people that <laughs> sure. they don't want to cook or can't cook, sure. don't have the time to cook. Sure. And I love to do it. I'm just a hobby cook. You you flatter me by saying chef, but um, I'm a hobby cook, and I've been fortunate to take some cooking classes all over the world okay good um every place that i go i try to make sure i get a cooking class learn in. a little bit don't you yeah because i i love to cook it's probably my favorite hobby besides reading oh well wow, i like really? to read I what like are you reading cook. lately i am reading um a john grisham book which one the litigator oh it's really an older book it's a few years old but it's new to me so that's cool all right now i've got you here i've got you set up well you've got yourself set up what how okay. do we start on this and we are uh, we are calling this what's what kind of shrimp this cocktail? Is mexican shrimp cocktail mexican that's shrimp what I'm cocktail call. there cocktail you go de camarón in spanish okay. but we'll just call it mexican shrimp that sounds good all right okay well first of all i thought you viewers might like to uh, see some chopping techniques because a lot of people say I'm very slow. I'm, I'm a slow chopper. Yeah. I'm not very good with knives, and it's oh, if it takes a lot of prep work or chopping, I don't want to do it. This I'm very, recipe I'm very, does require some. I'm chopping. very slow, and and I just try to go out. So I just try to make sure that I keep all my fingers. So. Well, let me see if I can give you some pointers. Yeah, please and, do. And um, hopefully, I won't cut myself. Well, let's hope not. I I have have had an opportunity with one of these. Where nice I ended avocado. up, an avocado. When I ended up in Dr. Molt, the surgeon, Dr. Molt, um, Patrick Molt's office, uh, with my hand wrapped up. I didn't even call. I didn't even pass go. I just walked right in with my hand wrapped up, and I had speared this part of my hand, and I have a scar right there from where I speared it, and it was because of one of these. Now, is that kind of a um that's kind of par for the course for uh, for chefs, isn't it? <laughs> you get lots of cuts, yeah. burns. I mean, you just you just keep going. Okay. The show must go on. But I had to have it stitched up. Yeah. All so, right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Cut. Let's see how we well, do. Um, what do you want to cut let's first? Let's do the onion. That we, sounds good. We have to have an onion, and onions are. I know some people like onions. Some people hate onions. Um, but I really don't think you could, you would be remiss in most of Spanish or Latin American cooking without an onion. All right. I'm going to peel the little papery skin off. Okay. Of course. See, and now I always like, chop the stems, which peels the paper off. Well, you can do that. And that's just what I that's, do. That's perfectly okay. There's lots of different ways to chop an onion. So what I'm going to do is maybe a different technique that you haven't seen. I'm going to make my hands kind of like a claw also. A, is that a big enough plate or are you going to this be okay? This is a chef's knife. Okay. Um, I use this one knife for everything. Okay. I just pretty much use it, use it for everything. Um, I'm actually going to slice it. Can I stand up? Stand up. You bet. Um, I'm going to slice through the middle. Okay. Oh, so that's a red onion all the way through. This is a red onion, and I like it for the color. Okay. I like the flavor of them, but you can use a white one. You can use a Vidalia. You can use a whatever onion you want. We're going to use the whole onion? Spanish onion. Um, I'm not going to use the whole onion for this particular recipe. I'm going to use about half. Okay. Um, unless you're just really mad about onion. <laughs> no, I'm okay. And okay, so uh, onion onion doesn't typically anger me either way. Either way, well, I <laughs> I love onion, and I think um, I'm going to peel this little piece off here. All right. A lot of a lot of chefs, and right. a lot of cooks will peel. There's my little garbage bowl. They will peel the first layer off too because it can kind of tend to be leathery. Yeah. Um, but I like to get that membrane off there. It's kind of a milky membrane. 
So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make several little vertical slices. Oh, really? Okay, that's differently end. how I do it. That, that's quite a bit different. Kind of get as close to the end as you can. Right. Um, but without going through the end of it. See, now this makes a whole lot more sense than how I cut one there, Katie, because uh, whenever I cut an onion, which is basically my job, when it. Uh, when Are we're you making, the onion chopper? I am the home? onion chopper because I don't cry. I, oh uh, I, 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 well, I don't tear up. There's another thing. I, I don't tear up on I onions. I do, I may. And, uh, Thank it, God it, for waterproof land cone. There you go. Uh, but I, I don't tear up when cutting an onion typically, and uh, so uh, that, I am, that is is my job but i usually chop those things off first it makes a lot more sense to leave those stems on right because that way you can uh you can, it'll help hold the thing together it when you're trying it to together, cut together precisely wow. and, um, i am learning knife skills knife skills there you go so we've made several i don't know if your viewers can see this but we've kind of made several little cuts there sure they got a good look at it okay um if i stand up can go you ahead still you, see yeah, me? Yeah. okay all right so then we're going to go across Okay. Holding my hand kind of as a claw so I don't get my little finger in there. Okay. You know, I meant, I had I thought about it, I would have had a, a cutting board here. I, I feel terrible totally that I don't. I forgot. I blanked. Well, um, you've, you, but you, we'll make do. I'm going to so not much, to be too annoyed. You brought so much other stuff that it, I, it's tremendously it's understandable and I, I feel bad. It's the one thing I needed and I forgot. Well, that's okay. But, okay, and then when you get to the end, then you can kind of turn it over. All right, we're going to basically uh, carve through it then. And, we're just and then we're going to get rid of that big stem, right? And we're going to get rid of the big stem. Exactly. Okay. Now, if you want a smaller chop or a smaller dice, you can see it's kind of diced when you... Then you just chop you through it again. And then you chop through again. And the way you do it is you just kind of run your knife through it. I have my hand on the top, and All I'm right. using a rocker motion. Sure. The Safety first. Safety first. All right, so we've got our onion done. So we have our onion done. So I'm going to throw it in our big bowl here. I've got a nice big clear bowl. Because Sweet. I think it looks best in a clear bowl because you have all these beautiful colors. Okay. That you're going to have, and now my eyes are watering. <laughs> Like clockwork. You know, that's the thing, Katie. Had you really asked, I would have cut the onion myself. Well, I would have been glad to help. I didn't know how you cut onions. So. Well, I don't cut them like that. I'm glad that you were doing it, so I've learned. Now I'm going to cut some garlic. All I'm right. going to use one clove or a couple of cloves of garlic. Again, this is something the Spanish use. See, now without the... Uh, no, there you go. Bang goes the garlic. That's going to be great. Bang goes the garlic. It's very cathartic. By the way, I did... Uh, ladies Sorry. and gentlemen, if you're wondering, I did wipe down the table. with uh, We sanitized the table with the... Uh, uh, with a Clorox. The Clorox. Did you see my Clorox bottle over there? Oh, right yeah. There? I'm glad you saw it. Clorox. Something that we're all... <laughs> sanitized by. anyway, because, I mean, it sanitized. was... Uh, you're going to... You're doing it for coronavirus versus everything else. Oh, and just the cleanliness, you know. If this were a professional kitchen, we'd be wearing gloves, and we'd probably have a cutting board that I neglected to bring. But, <laughs> uh, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Darn. So to peel the garlic, you know, you can just sort of get that papery, annoying skin off by giving it a good bang. All right. And then the same way, you know, you can just slice it. I've got a very sharp knife. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, that's the key a lot of times to good cooking is to eat to make e cooking more fun and easier, having really good really sharp good utensils. Equipment. And you kind of just, rather than getting it close, push the food toward the knife. Okay. That's okay. okay. Now that's learning something again, and again Be because yeah. I typically would uh, instead of pushing the food toward the knife, I would probably uh, more likely be the uh, the guy who do who would bring the knife toward my hand and then go up toward my arm and, uh, and now my I hand and then be that rocker bad. motion again. All right. To finally chop, and I'm not going to make it as noisy as I normally would. We're uh, chopping. Chopping. We're chopping. All right. Like chopping broccoli, like on SNL. Yeah, chopping Wasn't broccoli. Wasn't that Dana, Dana Carvey? I believe that, that was Dana Carvey. Broccoli. That's right. Yeah. We're chopping the garlic, and my nose is running, viewers, because <laughs> uh, unlike Bruce, I can smell the onions. I see. Yeah, yeah, the onions are. I'm fine with the onions. Uh, so yeah, I tell you so what, let's do. The garlic. Kate, what, what do you have next? 
Okay, we've got bell pepper. I tell you what, how about you chop the bell pepper during the commercial break, and okay. we're going to come back and we'll catch up because I want to don't want to I want to make sure everybody sees how to do that avocado. All, all right? right, all right. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Katie White is a making a Mexican shrimp cocktail. Can't wait. We'll be right back after this. Do stick around. Can you cut me out of the shot? At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGay-Hayes, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is Bruce Dickey along with Katie White, and uh, she is a. Uh, I've got her down as a chef and a tour guide, but she's chefing today. I'm chefing today. She's, well, by the I'm way, not yeah. technically a chef. You are not technically. I'm not technically a chef. You're, I'm just a cook. She's a hobbyist. I'm a hobbyist. She's a hobbyist. I'm a hobbyist. All right, we are making a Mexican shrimp cocktail. We have the shrimp already prepared, so you're not going to go prepared. through the deveining and all that kind of business. Nope. Uh, but uh, we are making this shrimp cocktail. We've got you've got your uh, your. I'm what are you on doing the cucumber, here? Cucumber. Okay, so I bought a, an English cucumber. Okay. The ones that are they're about this long. Probably, you know, about 12 inches long. Yeah. They're wrapped in plastic. Okay. Um, and I've taken most of the seeds out. The okay. seeds, I just kind of took my knife, I cut them into quarters, and I kind of took my knife and I ran it. So no seeds in these cucumbers? Well, there's, they are, there are seeds. They're just, I don't know, fewer. Oh, okay. So it has a little bit different flavor. I kind of like it. It's very crunchy. So if you don't like seeds, you can always just kind of run your knife, very sharp knife. I peeled it, of course, uh, with my weird peeler that mm -hmm. Bruce didn't know. What is that red thing? That's what I thought. This what is, is my that peeler. This is a, a Kuhn Recon, if I can say the name. Um, it's my favorite peeler. It's ergonomic to the to the hand. It looks very handy. I got it at a kitchen store, and it's serrated, so it's a serrated peeler. Nice. 
so i really like it so we're gonna put a little cucumber in here okay um you might be surprised you are chopping this this cucumber very fine well this i'm just gonna make a fine dice um because we're gonna be eating this on crackers so okay. we kind of want the little bits to fit well on the cracker wish i could rock my knife but we're gonna make do here um, because you want the bits to basically You can't rock combine. your knife because we're on that plate, can you? Right, I but I don't want it to that. be too noisy and annoying to the viewers. Some people hate sounds like that, so I'm trying to be conscious of that. How thoughtful. I'm one of those okay, so we have you. so we have we have onion in there so far. We have garlic, garlic in there so close. far, and uh, now we two cloves of garlic. Now we are going to throw an English cucumber. Correct. Okay, a finely diced English cucumber okay. with most of the seeds out. Okay. Most of the seeds. Um, the seeds are kind of what makes people burp. Really. I had, okay. I had no, I had no idea. They, I was thinking it was burp. the, uh, I was thinking it was the, uh, the, the, the wheat beer we were talking about. <laughs> oh, okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a red pepper. I've actually brought a yellow pepper, and I, I'm going to go ahead and throw that dice in. Okay. I'm using a yellow. Do you know the difference between red, yellow, and green bell peppers? Color. Yes, bingo. No. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like olives. It's, it has to do with the ripeness. Oh, really? Okay. A red pepper is sweeter. Um, a yellow one is also sweeter than a green one because so, they are simply riper. So you're carving around that big chunk of uh, right. seed there in the middle. All right. So I'm kind of going to move this out of the way yeah. so people can see. You can scoot your uh, right just a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, and notice that I'm going to then take this bitter kind of pith part off. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna take the knife. Toward it's like me. the uh, we would uh, for for those of us who bitter. for those of us who don't uh, really um, uh, deal with cooking or peppers very often. We would call those the the stem holders. The stem. <laughs> the, the, the big seeds. Exactly. The, the, the seed, seed. The seed bunch holder. And you don't want to get any seeds in there. They're bitter. They're not very tasty. It's not that you can't eat them. It's just they're not desirable. Okay. So then we're going to um, cut these into strips. Okay. Like so. And I'm going to cut these into fairly fine strips. Wow, those are. Because, again, you know, the smaller dice, that means the more we can kind of get on the cracker. Okay. They eat them with... Uh, Saltine crackers. This is the way I've always eaten shrimp cocktail. You can eat really? tortilla chips. This, this is not basically the, the type of shrimp cocktail that folks are used to in the United States where you dip it in to the uh, the red sauce plus the uh, the red sauce plus the horseradish or whatever's in this there. This is and like Worcestershire. a salad. Ketchup, horseradish, and Worcestershire. Or something yes, like that. See, and is, I'm not using any This is not like that at all. Not at all. So... You know, just for demonstrative purposes, I'm taking this red one. I like the yellow one just because it's going to be a contrast of color. Okay. Because I'm getting ready to dump a bunch of tomatoes in there. Okay. So I might use part of this in there just because it's very tasty. But again, I would, um, if I had a cutting board, I would probably go a little bit faster. But well, it's again, it's pretty quick. I mean, once you get your knife skills down... That's the main thing. Um, people are just scared to use knives and very sharp ones, and it just makes it go by so much faster. Well, you know that's the th that's that's exactly right. It's the you have that big hard shop that hard sharp knife. It makes it so much quicker and so much, much easier, doesn't it? All right. Okay, so there's a little bit of that. Now right. I'm going to dump my tomatoes. I've dump. actually used a can of ro Rotel type tomatoes. Easy. Um, Easy, easy can makes it easy for you doesn't it yes but i actually do have a fresh tomato in there i'm using romas okay and a lot of people hate chopping tomatoes so you know that's the thing roma uh, roma tomato it, it i don't know why would you hate chopping a tomato i mean other than well people get caught up with the skin and they don't like the skin but i'm just going to make these kind of uh, like rounds and then i'm going to stack them really and then we're going to just kind of do our cross cutting again. So okay. just kind of line them up. And then you just kind of cut through. 
kind of through, kind of keeping it together the best you can. This is uh, beginning to smell really good, folks. <laughs> it's I, getting I, fragrant. I, 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 I gotta tell you, this the, the smell is beginning to. They, it's just all coming together. Wait. Yeah, I wait just can't wait. We get the cilantro in there. Do you Ooh, like cilantro? I love cilantro. Yeah, good I'm, thing. I'm a yeah, cilantro. I'm glad guy. you can omit the cilantro, of course. I mean, you can omit ingredients that you don't like. Okay. However, you know, I'm I'm kind of a champion of using the ingredients as it is. Um, I know there are some picky eaters. I'm going to get some of those kind of pale parts out of there because they're a little bit bitter. But anyway, there's kind of a quick way to get the tomato in. Okay. The fresher the ingredients, the better. This is a great summertime recipe. Sure, it makes it well. You keep it cool too. So I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Exactly. Now, another ingredient that you might be surprised is a stalk of celery, which I've already chopped. Okay. So I'm going to throw. Why would you? Yeah, the the uh, I guess you know there are a lot of things in here that's kind of surprising me. Yeah, that I mean I can understand using uh, these tomatoes and mm -hmm. and onions I guess and peppers, but uh, I, I like this one. What is that? Is that next? What do we have here? This is a mango. Um, I guess I can chop a mango for you. A lot of people. Uh, I probably don't have time. Let's go ahead to this. But. Anyway, we'll throw the mango in there. Mango's um, good, good and sweet, isn't it? I really like to use a mango because of the sweetness, and of course we have. You got to have the jalapeno. The pièce de résistance. Right. Um, if you like it very spicy, then definitely you know use the seeds if you want. Seeds are where the heat comes from. Seeds it, in the uh, membrane. Okay, so you are you are making this less spicy since less. you are carving around the, the membrane seeds. there, there uh, and the seeds. The membrane. All right. So insane in the membrane. And this actually one is one also you're going to dice very, very close. Very fine, very yeah. very fine chop. Now it's very important there. See that white part is right. part of the membrane, so it's very important that we excise that. By running our knife along. Excise, that. nice Excise. term. Yeah, I like and it. It sounds like surgery, doesn't it? Really, it kind of does. It's kind of a surgical term. Uh, but again, I'm going to cut very, very fine strips. There we go. Sorry about that noise. That That's all right. Horrible. I tell you what, let's do, folks. We're going to take one final break, and we're going to uh, we're going to come back. We're going to eat some shrimp cocktail. It's getting there, and we are going to finish it up when we return. Okay. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. That's Katie White. We'll be back right after this word. Do please stick around. Back in a sec. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your st day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. 
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit MortonBuildings.com. Morning, folks. Welcome back. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. I've got the tough job. I'm opening the bottles of soda. Well, it's really not soda. It's a Topo Chico. It's a Topo Chico. That's it's exactly. a salute. Cheers. Salute. Topo Chico. But before you dive into your Topo Chico. I'm not going to dive in yet. All right. You got to have lime. All right. Doing our lime and our, we're making Mexican uh, gua, uh, oh, thank you so much. Mexican. Lime goes in it, right? Yep. I was about to say Mexican guacamole, but it's Mexican salsa. It's a similar process, except we're only going to use little chunks of avocado instead of the main ingredient being avocado. I can show you how to do that, too, sometime. All right. So there you go. This is the authentic Mexican Topo Chico way to drink. It's just mineral water. Mineral water with, with lime in it. Yum. That's good. That'll work. It's very refreshing. Okay. So we have a few more things to add. Um, if you can get avocados, good avocados in season, um, I like to throw avocado in. I throw it in at the last, um, and we're going to do our lime juice, our avocado, and then we'll add our shrimp and mix it up. That sounds great. And we'll have our shrimp cocktail. We'll add the rest. Okay, so I have a story about you want to make sure that you're very careful getting the pit Why out is of that? avocado because... I stabbed myself once. You did it with a knife rather than with right. a fork or with and a spoon. And you can. I mean, chefs will like whack right in the middle. Well, I missed, so I don't have <laughs> oh, that's a that bad way. Thing. But here's a way if you want a cube, get nice cubes of your avocado. You're just making some cross hatches okay. inside the avocado. Some Looks people good. go on the diagonal. Oh, you're going to diagonally it also? So you can also do this. Yeah, watch this. Oh. Really fancy. Fancy, schmancy. Would you expect anything less than I birds? would not. I would not. This is outstanding. It's like, okay. you know, this is like when you see somebody mowing their lawn in, <laughs> wow, in two different directions. Them. Look at them making yeah. those cross so, hatches. Yeah. yeah, the cross, it's just amazing. And then we can kind of peel it. And she's going like to peel so. it back. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that peel. Here we go. And off it's they go. It's kind of like you're calling a game watching me cook. I, I, I really could if you don't want me to do play-by-play. -play. Have They're, you seen that man in England that <clears throat> was a, is a sportscaster, and since there are no sports going Joe on, Buck's doing it, too. He's, uh, yeah, he's on Twitter. He's a sensation. Yeah, Joe Buck is uh, doing it. Uh, Ordinary people. Just people people are sending him. Well, actually, Joe Buck, people are sending him videos. Footage and he's, of uh, everyday life. Yeah, yeah. So this guy in England, you know, instead of calling, there we go. All right. Had a big chunk there. So that's how you can do that. Now, cilantro. You bend it. We're going to do chiffonade. Chiffonade. Okay. The stems, um, yes, you can eat the stems. And a lot of uh, chefs like to use the stems for different reasons. In Thai cooking, they use the root really? of the cilantro. It's also known as coriander. Okay. Yeah, they dry it. The seeds yeah. are coriander. And so chiffonade just means you roll it up kind of like a cigar. And then you don't want these big pieces. So if you're ending up with any little, you know, big pieces, and then you can just run your knife through like so. We are. This is going to be the best Mexican shrimp cocktail ever. Well, I don't know about ever. I've had some great ones, but this is my best effort that's well you're doing a great job trying to be humble keeping it humble 
Okay, so I'm going to throw that in. I really like a lot okay. of cilantro. Now, right. the horseradish. I'm going to use one, two, three teaspoons of horseradish. Three teaspoons of horseradish. <laughs> That's me. Um, we're going to use our lime juice. I have one of these gadgets. All right. It's a juicer. It's Yum. Just, it's able to get more of the juice out. Oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, so you can smell it already. Oh, right? absolutely, yeah. So you can use lemon if you want, but very Mexican flavor is the lime, of right. course. Yum. We love lime in our cooking, so I'm going to move that over there. Don't buy, don't buy me while I enjoy another uh, swig of uh, swig of topo chico. swig of the topo chico. They're available at Fairfield Save a Lot. If I can give them a little plug, they keep a lot of my Mexican food. They supplies. really do a nice job. Yeah, they do a nice job. They may have it here, too. I, I'm not familiar with flora grocery stores. I'm going to use a half a cup of ketchup. I'm using sriracha ketchup. Um, if you use regular ketchup, then you're going to want to supplement with your favorite hot sauce. Okay. Um, I can recommend one to you that I usually use, and that's Valentina. Valentina. Good um, stuff. I really like it. So you can adjust the heat on that, but I really like the sriracha ketchup. Okay. The ketchup gives it a, a sweetness because there is quite a bit of sugar okay. in, in ketchup, and you can use more ketchup, less ketchup, whatever. Then the secret. the secret, secret ingredient is Clamato, or what do you call a clam-based uh, tomato, tomato juice. juice. Okay, so I'm going to use actually a cup and a half, so if I could get that back so I can use... You need more of this. Uh, I need a little bit more. I don't want uh, to keep you from, uh, from having favor. enough, yeah. Make sure you have enough. We've got about so, two minutes if you're ready to... Uh, and now I'm going to throw in the shrimp. You're throwing the shrimp in, so we got to cut it We're shrimp good. still, right? Well, we can, but watch how quick. I've taken the tails off. These are medium shrimp. If you use smaller shrimp, it's a little quicker. But I'm just going to give them a rough, a rough chop. So, so it doesn't matter how big they are. No, I mean, if you use uh, salad shrimp, then you won't have to chop them at all. But I just had medium shrimp on hand in the freezer. I used, I used frozen, and I've thawed these outstanding so there you go we have a rough chop because again we want it to fit on our soda cracker katie i'm going to give you two minutes to stir it and then we're going to eat we're going to actually eat. i'm going to give you about a minute to stir and then we'll make sure we have time to eat okay oh so there work. it go that's oh, here really go. all there is so so now so, basically it's just stirring now we're going to stir can i do that or do you have do you need um, to do that you I'm you know the to. texture you want i'm just going to stir it all up like all right. so there you go you know, some folks might think that that uh, looks like a big mess, but that looks outstanding Actually, to me. Actually, I think it's beautiful. Look yeah, at all the colors, Bruce. Very colorful. The the smells, the textures, just the different flavors will mix together. And if you um, let it kind of chill in the fridge for a couple of hours, then the flavors can get married. Now, we need to put in our salt. About a teaspoon, How much salt? About a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. Okay, if you like a little bit more salty, there you go. <laughs> Whoops. And pepper. No cumin, no no, no crazy See, stuff. See, no, that's the thing. Most of the folks might even have most of the stuff in their... Uh, in their and they may have all this, and and all they need to in do the pantry. is just get the fresh ingredients if they can get your Get uh, find your, your the cucumber, a uh, mango, a, uh, a, a, a uh, avocado, the, uh, the right, uh, cucumber... Oh, wow. Can I serve you some? Well, I would uh, I would be remiss if you didn't. Okay, I'm going to find a clean. Oh, this is going to be so going good. To be clean. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. Oh, look at her. It's it's going to be in one of those things. I got a I've got about a minute to eat here. Got to eat it quickly. And here's your soda cracker, sir. Yeah. Well, now I see. Now you're gonna take first bite. You're the you're the chef for crying. Oh, I make sure I'm not poisoning you. <laughs> Test it. Make it the, be the tester. There you go, and there it is, like on your little cracker. I'll eat when you do. Oh, this is good. It's Looks not gonna good. be Mexican pretty. a shrimp cocktail. Oh, good grief! Not bad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me. Thank My you. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Katie sorry, White. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, check out, uh, actually, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put uh, on Facebook, 
or, or somewhere the recipe for this because she's going to send it to me. Hey, thank you so much, folks. Thanks, I, viewers. It's really good. Thanks That'd so much. Great. We'll see you all next time. Next time, have a great day. Stay safe, all right? Stay see safe. You soon. Social distance. Social distance. There you go.